friends, welcome back to another YouTube video and today I'm going to be doing a tour of my Blue Tongue Skinks enclosure. I just finished it. This would have been a really cool build video and I was super excited to put it out but literally every single one of my files corrupted besides like maybe five or six of them and you'll see those in this video hopefully <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna be doing a little tour of the enclosure that I just finished for him it is in a 4x2x2 Zen Habitats Meridian enclosure which was a million times easier than the regular Zen Habitats enclosures if you're interested in getting one I would highly recommend paying a little bit extra for the Meridian because it is so much easier to build and a lot less stress to take apart if you ever need to do that This isn't an enclosure review, so I'm not going to go in depth, but these are 100 bajillion gatrillion times easier to build than the ones that are not Meridian. You don't have to hammer anything. We did hammer a little bit, but you don't have to hammer anything other than just to make sure everything's in place. <laughs> I'm also featuring two products that I really like. Um, one is by Thrive Ecosystems and the other is by Blue Zoo. Really, really amazing. They really made the enclosure for sure. But anyway, let's uh, get right into the tour. So for the drainage layer in this enclosure, I did Hydro Grow by um, the Bio Dude. And you can totally use just regular, like, I believe they're called LECA. You can get them at um, plant stores and Ikea even, I believe. Sometimes if you get them other than something reptile related, they can be a little cheaper, so that's good. <laughs> but when I went into my local reptile store, this is what they had, and I wasn't really mad about it. So that's what I did for the drainage layer. I also want to say that this is not sponsored by BioDude. I literally bought all of this with my own money, probably totaling to like almost $300. So, And one of the most popular questions I get whenever I do a different build is what substrates that I chose to use. So for this one, I chose to use the BioDudes Terra Fauna and Terra Flora. And I was told that those are substrates that are really good for bioactive enclosures with also higher humidity. So I definitely wanted to do something that was better for higher humidity because that's something that I've been struggling with for the entire time I've had my blue tongue skink. The entire time. So I did a pretty thick layer of that. And so far I've had this enclosure done for about a week and it's been definitely holding up right now, sitting at 57% humidity and I haven't missed it yesterday or today. So I would say that that's pretty decent. Next, I got a bunch of cork hides from the Bio Dude, Josh's Frogs, literally anybody that sells cork hides, I tend to get them, any size, any kind. The little tiny ones, the really, really big ones, I just get them all. In my opinion, cork hides are something that add just so much life into the enclosure, even though, you know, it's just cork. But it just makes the enclosure look so much more natural and like it is its own environment. Next up, I added some plants. Um, I will put the names of the plants on the screen. I'm not, I'm, I am terrible with plant names. I'm not even really a good plant mom. Sometimes they die and they die very quickly. These ones are not dead yet. It's been a week. <laughs> the snake plant was in his last enclosure and it's a plant that honestly I think does well in any enclosure. I have a snake plant in this enclosure back here, this really big one. I've got a snake plant in each of my leopard geckos enclosures and I have a snake plant. Actually, literally every enclosure besides my bearded dragon has a snake plant. So if you're looking for a plant that is pretty hardy, you can't really kill it unless you really try to, I would definitely recommend a snake plant. The other three that I got, I got from a local reptile store. I know that you can buy several of these plants, um, if not these plants, then very similar plants from uh, Josh's Frogs, BioDude. Um, any any reptile company that sells live plants definitely recommend going that route so far the only thing that I'm noticing is that I probably will be slowly killing my that like palm plant in there it will slowly die I'm 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 sure of it the plant on the right is being overwatered so I'm not gonna water it for a hot minute just to see what it needs but yeah no guarantees that I'm not going to kill every plant in this enclosure. <laughs> Boo! Plant killer! <laughs> Next up, um, I have his white hide. I got that from PetSmart. Um, it's like through their Nate and Jeremiah um, line of decorations and he really really likes that hide and he's in it pretty much all the time. It is perfect size for him. Perfect size for really like any 
bigger reptile, not like massive, but bigger like a blue tongue skink or a bearded dragon or something like that. And then I had a piece of wood that also was left over from his last enclosure. I am 100% not sure where I got it, but it is just a regular piece of ghost wood, like driftwood. So if you can find that, it's a... Uh, it's really nice. I love putting pieces of driftwood in my enclosures. I think it just amps the whole thing up. Next up, one of my favorite additions. This was sent to me by Blue Zoo. Um, not sponsored, but it was gifted to me. I want to be transparent about that. But this is probably one of my favorite additions to this enclosure because it really just adds so much of the naturalistic vibe that I was going for. This is their new um, water basins, which is basically just a real rock they take real rocks and they carve like I don't want to say like a hole because that's not really accurate but a place for water to go and it's just a rock and it holds water and it looks so good <laughs> so also if this is a file that didn't corrupt that would be awesome but I did get these little like seed pods um, like botanical looking things just like accents for the enclosure they're really small they don't really serve like a big purpose but for isopods and springtails it does give them a place to hide but otherwise I honestly just think it's a really really gorgeous addition to the enclosure also another gift that was sent to me are the thrive ecosystems LED like grow lights for your plants I really really like them hi editing camera here so for the LED lights my plants look a lot better this is like I filmed this probably like a month ago at this point procrastination at its finest um, my plants look amazing if you guys want updates I'll post them on my Instagram right here in case you're not following me I also did an unboxing for this but that file corrupted um, very sorry about that but the packaging was amazing um, the shipping was very very fast um, highly recommend purchasing if you're interested so they came with two of the LED like bar things um, and I think they are working really really amazing my plants seem very happy I know they've only been in there for a week but I'm really really happy with them so far and I think I'm definitely going to purchase some more with my own money because I think they're amazing and they look super sleek like they're not just lights just like sticking up on top of the enclosure they're like guarded so they don't look like lights that are sticking up on top of your enclosure does that make sense hi I'm back again um, so I did a terrible job describing these and how amazing that they are and what they will do for your plants. So basically these lights are full spectrum LED, so they will give the very best for your plants. They'll make the colors stand out more, they'll improve their growth, and they'll even brighten up the enclosure for the animal that's inside of it. This is the color spectrum here for anybody who understands it. I am not one of those people, but this is doing wonders for my plants, so I highly recommend it. <laughs> Thank you guys for sending that to me. Um, and also, if you want to grab either of the things that I've mentioned in this video, they are in the description below. I also do want to go over lighting really quickly. I am using the Arcadia um, T5 Desert UVB. I believe that one is 12%. Anyway, that's what I'm using for the UVB. And for heating, I usually use Arcadia's um, heating products. I'll put the ones that I recommend on the screen here. I also use different brands. Sometimes I go back and forth because honestly, reptile basking lights can be super confusing and some of them last significantly longer than others and then some of them just suck, so. And there we go. Uh, that is it. That is the finished enclosure. I am very, very happy with it. It is very rare for me to be happy with an enclosure build that I do because honestly, I have very little enclosure building experience, let alone bioactive. So anyway, I'm super happy how this turned out. And if you guys like it, please do not hesitate to leave a like on this video. It helps me a lot. <laughs> anyway, that is all for this video. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed everything that I used, regardless of whether or not it was gifted to me or if I bought it with my own money, which I bought the majority of this stuff with my own money. And let me tell you, <laughs> it put a dent in my credit card. <laughs> so help me out by clicking that subscribe button. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. Until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, I'll see you later. Bye.